Well, a new project from Purdue University and NDOT is making it possible for electric vehicles to wirelessly charge while driving on the highway right here in the Hoosier State. WRTV's Nico Panisi went to West Lafayette to get a closer look at the construction and explains more about this technology. Construction is well underway here on US 52 in West Lafayette. This section of the roadway will actually be the first of its kind electric charging highway. The barrels are up and everybody's out there. Crews began working on the project on April 1st. Blake Dollier with the Indiana Department of Transportation West Central District says it's made possible through a partnership with Purdue University and Indiana-based Cummins Inc. You know, maybe even just five years ago where this was a foreign thought. This is something that's very realistic. You see a lot more electric vehicles on the road. And this is something that is the crossroads of America here in Indiana. Part of that title is being a leader in innovation. Imagine you can charge your car like how a smartphone charges on a wireless pad. That's the idea behind dynamic wireless power transfer technology. As electric vehicles drive over the road, the pavement uses wireless chargers to send power to the car with magnetic fields, eliminating the need to stop. In our case, at Purdue, the big deal is, is that we're able to charge a fully loaded semi-tractor trailer moving at 65 miles an hour. Purdue University researcher John Haddock says electric vehicles are the future. Benefits include cheaper maintenance, reduced cost, minimal traffic noise, and less harm to the environment. It's not a point source for any pollutant, right? There's nothing, you know, there's no carbon monoxide, there's no CO2, there's nothing coming out the tailpipe. This is an approximately $10.6 million state-funded project. The test bed is about a quarter-mile stretch just outside the end Subdistrict office in West Lafayette. Drivers can expect lane closures on US 52 and 231 up until the fall. Slow down, buckle up, put your phone down. The project is expected to be completed in the summer of 2025. In West Lafayette, Nico Panisi, WRTV.